I want to go to somebody who actually put out a quality album today and didn't have that kind of help. Let's go to that. Vince Staples put out um, Ramona Park, Broke My Heart. And this album is dope. Now, this album, I like. The production on this album is there. And I don't know who did anything on here. It doesn't even have any crazy features on it, right? Like, I saw... um, Who all did I see on here? Because it doesn't show on the track list here. Kenny, Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats? Okay. Uh, let's see. Ramona. Let me go to... Uh, okay. I just want to see who's all featured on here. Lil Baby, of course. Mustard. And Ty Dolla Sign. Mustard's on there twice, yeah. Yeah. Ty Dolla Sign's who I was thinking about. Uh, and I couldn't name it. But yeah, man. I just love the whole vibe of this album. Me too. I love the way the album feels. I love the pocket that Vince has kind of like gotten himself in. This is his best project, Mike. Mm. This is his best project. He sounds great on it. I like everything he's touching on. He he's yep. He sounds he, <clears throat> it sounds like he's found and understood his lane finally and is starting to thrive in. It's yeah. like the last the album last year, the album I think it was just Vince. Just Vince Staples, right? The album last year. Mm-hmm. Like that was a flash of what he was becoming. Like this is it, Mike, and he's dope. Like he's arrived, and like, yeah, this is a dope project. There's no filler on here. The DJ Quick with the safe and sound. I was sample. just about to say that the DJ Quick man. I mean, you gotta cool. be ahead, Mike. That's from Safe and Sound, and that's the dollars and cents. Uh, MC Eight this. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, he's bringing it back, back with the DJ Quick. The West Coast is going to love that. I mean, except for like hardcore MC8 fans that remember that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Marquez but, Davis, shout out to you with the $20 Super Chat. He said, fellas, I'm sorry J. Cole is the best rapper right now. That B.I. verse, Johnny P's caddy. This dude is keep getting better and better. It's almost scary at this point. You know what? Let us finish talking about Vince Staples because we were going there. And that was actually on some of my show notes. J. Cole doesn't even have an album right now. He is in the running for MC of the Year for 2022. Right now. Right now. He's in the running for MC of the Year by far. I think he's the runaway candidate for it. We'll get to that, though. We're in April, right? We're in April. He's MC of the Year right now. He is slaughtering right now. He's MC of the Year. And if you want to... If you want to mention Benny or Conway or whoever, Johnny P's caddy. That's all we got to say. He's giving you right now. It's J. Cole. <laughs> Hudson says, incoming the Kendrick slander. That's coming too, yes. But let's finish talking about Vince Staple, a West Coast MC that actually puts music out. I was yeah. going to say, or let's keep talking about J. Cole, people who actually keep rapping here. After you but you know what? Rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, Vince is doing it for the coast, putting out music, giving a West Coast vibe. He was having fun with this album. It's there. You want to know? You know what he is, Mike? He's like Snoop with more technical skill but less charisma. But that's what I mean about him finding a pocket. It's like, is he going to make gin and juice and ain't no fun? No, but can he make dope ass West Coast records? Yeah. Yes, but he can be introspective yeah. in ways that Snoop doesn't. No, that's either. what I mean. Yeah. Technically, as an MC wise, more sound, but he embodies that Compton Long Beach kind of like wave, but we wavy, but we still gangsta on your ass feel. Like he embodies that perfectly, and this is the project where he delivered that way. Yeah. You know, he delivered that way. Yo, him and um him and Schoolboy Q with the music that he just dropped off, man, they got me excited about what the West Coast got going on for the summer of twenty twenty two. Mike, I really thought, like, you want to know what? This is the first album that I've heard in a minute come from the West Coast. that it's like, man, I want to go back to Cali and, like, ride down, like, the PCH or ride down the Five or, like, ride the Yeah, Mall. that Bump shit put shit. me in L.A., man. Listening to that put me in L.A. I was thinking of, like, sunny, you know what I'm saying, sunny streets and all kind of vibes when I was listening to that. I yeah, think yeah. they were even quoting "Summertime" in the LBC too on one of those records. Yeah, quote "Summertime" in the LBC. I love that song. Yeah, that's a classic. That's, that's a beautiful song. 
So how about this? He knows how to create that vibe. And he created that vibe on this album. That summertime and the LBC vibe, that's this album. That's beautiful. Like, it's great. That's a great it song. It is. I, th- I mean, it's an album of the year contender. I think so, too. I was going to say that. I think that this is definitely an album of the year contender. And I want to give it some more burn, but just, you know, after listening to that Fabio Foreign, I kind of started my day listening to that. And I hate to say it like this because it sounds like I'm dissing, but it felt like I would have to force myself to listen to it. Whereas when I put the vents on, I really wanted to listen to it. I'm just riding to it. Because I... I came in with the intent to be like, you know what? Skip through this and see what's good, whatever, whatever. I found myself listening to everything. Mm. Uh, Nas the Goat with the Super Chat says, Vince is boring. What are y'all talking about? Have you heard the album? The album's dope. No, so hold on. That's what I mean about he's finally like put it together. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, Is he charismatic? Is Snoop? Like, like by any means, no. But as an MC really really nice and has learned how to put those west coast vibe type records together like no there's heat on here no i enjoyed it like the first one a free the homies yeah that man record, yeah that's what i'm saying dj quick magic with mustard no these records are dope when sparks fly when sparks fly mike i'm pretty certain that's the um i think that's the mob deep sample mike yeah that's the uh, tripe life 2 sample off hell on earth isn't it it is TD yeah. says Fabio wasn't that bad. You know what? It wasn't. But the thing what? is, it was put together well. I just don't personally like the MC like that. You oh know what I'm God. saying? And I, and I think I like the MC when it comes to Vince Staples a lot more. And obviously it was produced a little bit better. But um, yeah, I just don't I just don't feel Fabio foreign like that. No, there's dope stuff on here. Like Paper Cuts, Lemonade, East Point Prayer. Yeah. Mama's Boy, Rose Street. No, this no, this record slaps. Mm-hmm. I guess people feel the same way I do about Vince because Diesel's saying I don't care for Vince Staples. Well, for the people who haven't heard it yet, check it out. It's a dope album. I, you know what? I can't even really. I don't want to really jump out the window and rate it yet. Um, off of just you know one listen. I want to listen to it over the weekend and really come with an assessment. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, rap round table in the building says Fabio is not an MC. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> my my immediate thought too is that I wanted to give it another real clear listen again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I only heard it one time, and I try to listen to something because I don't think people understand. People are like, "Well, how can you rate something in like a day?" And it's like, I, "Well, I mean, I generally listen to it happen three times before I pull up here and speak to y'all." You know, just on average, generally. I've only heard this once. Mm-hmm. My immediate and initial reaction was was that it was going to be somewhere in that Benny and Conway and Currency range. I'm just not sure. I don't think it's better than the Earth Gang just off first listen. Mm-hmm. You know, but I would put it in that realm of project right under it. It's top five, you know, definitely. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it needs yeah. some more listening, yeah. but it's definitely top five. 